and welcome to a Brawlbox tutorial. I'm going to be naming this one uh, Article Switching. Now this is when you have someone's article, which is stored with each character, for instance Mario's Fireball, Diddy Kong's Peanut, Link's Arrow, Link's Boomerang, and you want to put it on someone else. Before, impossible. Now I say possible. First step, open up two instances of Brawlbox. If you don't have Brawlbox, check out my downlo downloading of all necessary files. Now I'll show you how to get it. First, I'm going to show you two different changes that are really fun. But the first one involves link, so fit link motion dot pack, and then the other one, fit diddy motion dot pack. Now why I have two open is so that I can compare and contrast each one. Like, I don't have to open it. That's a huge asset for Brawlbox that PSA did not have. So on Link, I believe his arrow, it's under this, Fit Link, etc. The other one that everyone has is Fit Link Motion, or Fit Diddy Motion. Those are the actual animations, but we're not switching those, we're switching articles. So you go to the etc. You go down until you can find Link's arrow, it's in a model data. So, perfect. We now know where that is. Go down in Diddy's until you can find Diddy Peanuts. Found it. Right click on the model data. Export. Export it to somewhere you'll remember. And then for, now that you've exported Diddy Kong's Peanuts, <laughs> you're gonna put them on Link's arrow. So you right click on link, replace, not replace all, go to where you put your model data, perfect. But now you need to replace this name, so just rename, to link's name. And I believe that that was weapon link bow arrow. Now you have to do that when you switch things. Now if you're looking well, how does the texture get onto that arrow, which is now actually Diddy Kong's peanut? It's actually right here. If you click it, you can see it here. Gotta be honest with you, I don't know how to switch this. I can't figure it out, because if we go to change, this is Diddy Kong's peanut, we just export this, save it there, AL underscore arrow, replace, replace it with the texture, rename this al underscore arrow I've tried this but the peanut still looks like Link's arrow like just the texture it, it looks like a physical peanut but it is textured like a arrow it looks kinda weird you can tell it's a peanut but right now I'm not sure how to actually do this and I think it might be partially because Diddy's peanut is also an item it's one of those weird ones, because you can kind of catch Diddy's Peanut sometimes, but it's also an article. Anyway, so you're going to save this somewhere you can remember. Maybe like add space dash space Diddy Arrow, just to remind yourself that that's what that is. Now I had a suggestion for one. Somebody wanted me to switch Kirby's hammer with something. I believe they wanted Charizard's rock, but I'm going to say nay. And I'm going to switch it with something that I've already tried, so I know it works. Which is Peach's Parasol. So you open up Kirby Motion, you open up Peach Motion, you go into etc. You go down to Model Data. Uh, all of Peach's things are named weird, so that's like the thing she pulls up sometimes. Just keep going around models until you can find... I think this is it. Kassar. Ah. Uh, Peach's stuff is named weird. Anyway, this is probably it. So, right click, export, not export all. Somewhere you can remember. In Kirby's, find his hammer. Or, like, Kirby has a lot of funny ones, like his final cutter, which is that up B he has. I think I actually. That's when he turns into a stone. Here, Kirby Hammer. Remember, weapon Kirby Hammer. 
right click, replace, uh, model data, rename, oops, okay, right click, replace, model data, rename, weapon, Kirby, hammer, okay. Now you might have seen Kirby's hammer being replaced with Ganondorf's sword, which is really cool because that sword's pretty cool. But what's going to happen now is I can't find Peach's texture data for the Kassar, which I think is very strange. But I don't know if it would work because it doesn't work on Diddy Kong's Peanut. So right now what we're going to do is just file save this. File save as. Save it somewhere you can remember. Maybe you're going to save it as Peach Hammer. Now all you need to do is go to where your SD card is. These are my two files. Rename them properly. So just get rid of the space dash space. Space. So it does fit link motion, etc. dot pack. And you just put it there. Then when you go to play, as you'll see in my demonstration, you can see both in my demonstration, that there will be replaced. And it's actually really fun. It does not change the game at all. So if you're just playing with friends and they're like, hey, why is Kirby's hammer a umbrella? You're cheating. You're not actually, because the hitboxes are the same as we learned in the Project Smash Attacks tutorial. All of those. So you could actually replace it with Mario, which I tried to do, but I can't find his model data. Still looking for it. But you can do this with a lot of things. Some things I tried that didn't work, I've tried to replace Diddy Kong's act his peanut with something. First I tried his peanut with the sword. I can't get that one to work, so I disrecommend trying that. But go ahead and try it, because it is really easy. Pretty much just export one, import, done. Really, really fun on the screen. And it's pretty rewarding. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I would like to encourage you to go to Meow Mix Kitty Corp forums. They've been really kind to me and my tutorials. And please watch the demonstration, because you're going to be able to see what's actually happening in this video. So thanks again.